When we last talked, I talked about finding the right coach for you. And when I talk about coach, I talk about maybe a mental coach, if that's what you need, a relationship coach, or someone who can help you get back into shape, physically speaking. Or maybe someone to teach you some language skills, or maybe you want to learn a musical instrument. I've been a voice acting coach for about 25 years of my career. So that's my speciality. But even within that field of voice acting, there are so many categories that I, I'm not familiar with. For instance, one of the things I want to do is when I have my introductory, my free introductory meeting or Zoom session with a potential client, I want to find out what they're interested in and what their needs are. So for instance, if they're interested in animation, I can refer them to someone else because that's not my forte. I've done a couple of animated things in, in voice acting, but the bulk of my work is usually in non-fiction narrating, narration. So if they're interested in e-learning, in audiobooks, I can help them. But if they're interested in like things like video games or animation, I'm not the person. So yes, finding the right fit is very important. Now, how do you as a coach find out what, what the right fit is for a person that you don't know? Well, you ask questions. However, many of the coaches that I approached when I needed coaching did not ask me a single question. All they did was talk about themselves. And we all know that voice actors are very good at talking. That's what they're getting paid for. But I don't need to hear somebody's war stories from 25 years ago when they worked for Disney or Pixar. I want to be able to talk about my needs and what I need to improve upon and how they can potentially help me. It's the same thing when I went to voiceover conferences. I've been to quite a few. And the sessions that draw a lot of people are usually the sessions by what I call voiceover celebrities. People have built quite a reputation. People have a name, the VIPs of the industry. Most of these sessions I walked away with learning nothing. The only thing I learned was about the great accomplishments of the person speaking. And it's about them instead of about me. It's the same thing when you, when, you, when you watch a video on social media. What do you take away? Are they talking about themselves all the time, telling horror stories from the past? Or are they giving you actionable information? So in order to give you that, they need to be specific and cater to your needs. And if you want to discover those needs, you need to shut up as a voiceover coach and listen and ask the right questions. The last thing I would recommend is ask for references. Ask to get in touch with a number of their students because I believe that students and clients are my best credentials. They will be able to tell you what this coach has done for them how much they've been helped, how much their career has grown, how much they've grown as a person as a result of that coaching. Because, you know, I can talk a good game about how good I think I am, but it's irrelevant at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you want to know, did this person play an instrumental part in a professional growth and sometimes a personal growth as well? Is this person trustworthy? Do I get a good rapport? Are they interested in who I am and what, what, what I can develop? And do they give tips and tricks and information that you cannot find in a book or in a video? Because let's be honest, so much information is already around and readily accessible for free online, right? Even this, what I'm telling you now, you can probably get online somewhere for free. I'm not unique. Coaching has been around for ages, so... People have a good idea of what it entails and what a good coach should be. So this person needs to bring something special to the table that you cannot get from a YouTube video or from reading a book. And this person also should be able to guide you in a supportive way, but also a way that kicks your butt, <laughs> you know, if you know what I mean. Somebody who can hold you accountable for your progress and he keeps following your and, and, and knows what your progress has been, where your weak points are and how to strengthen them, and also someone who should reinforce what you already do well. So these are all kinds of things that I'm looking for and listening for when I hire a coach, and I suggest you do the very same thing, because it's a big investment of time, energy, and money. It's a personal relationship that you have with somebody, and your career is on the line. So be careful who you pick and choose. There are so many wonderful, great, supportive coaches around. 
but make sure that they're there for you, interested in who you are, what your needs are, and find out from their students if they are as good as they say they are. Okay, I hope this helps.